Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Witcher Wednesdays. Uh, I don't know where I'm going right now. Oh, wait, yes, I do. We're right here, I think. Anyway, last time on Witcher Wednesdays, I left off by saying I think we were going to go find the stones for Kalkstein, even though he's clearly guilty. And if you if that sentence didn't make any kind of sense to you, man, do you have a lot to catch up on? But you know what? I'm not going to sum it up for you. Actually, yes, I am. I'm, I'm a nice guy. Uh, we're in Vizima. We're doing things. We're getting stuff done. We're fat finding leads to the salamandra. That guy is sleeping. Anyway, uh, last time Shani helped us out with an autopsy that... Oh, crap. Yep. Anyway, she helped us out with an autopsy. Oh, yes, we found her. I was going to say, like, we're probably here at the wrong time, but nope, we are right here at the right time. Anyway, see, if you never tuned in before, I, I ramble a lot, and here we are already rambling. But I lost my train of thought. <laughs> anyway, she helped us out last time. I felt guilty not helping her out, so we're going to help her out right now. Shawnee. Hi, Geralt. Hi, Shani. My I'm name's not Geralt. Sometimes. Oh, you meant him. Okay. Let's go back. No. That was a stupid anything. joke. I'm sorry. I did that. I have your immunity. I wanted to talk. Quickly. I need to get back to work. Uh huh. How can I help? How can I help? Your skills are no good here. Shani, I do other things besides. Okay, whatever, man. We don't have a cure for the plague yet, but did you know Rusty? Rusty. Rusty Pete. I took him. He discovered certain plant extracts retarded the disease's progress. You need those plants? Yes, the best ones, Celandine. Unfortunately, it's only found on swampy ground. Oh, oh, we're going back to the swamp. <sighs> I almost went down a whole thing about Rusty Pete, of which I realize there's less than a dozen people who know who Rusty Pete is. Uh... Anyway, rust it, Pete. Um, I'll, I'll try to help. I know we're going back to the swamps. Bring at least five sprouts. This is just a fetch quest. <clears throat> okay. I need to talk to you. Can it wait? Well, I suppose. Visit me at home. There. The hospital's no place for personal matters. Oh. See ya. Okay. Uh, go to the swamp and gather a bunch of bunches. Oh. Okay. You see, you see, this is what happens when I try to be a nice guy. The last couple episodes, when I've looked through the list of quests to do, every time has been like, oh, here's this Shawnee quest that I'll probably never do. Why are these guys armed? Oh, I thought there was like a vampire or something. Anyway. Yeah, every time I look through my quest log, there's been that one for Shawnee. And I'm like, ah, it's probably just a side quest and it's nothing big. And, you know, after last time, I realized there's not a whole lot of options we can do right now until Raymond finishes his investigation stuff or whatever he was doing. We have to wait a couple of days or something. So I figured that probably means we have to go, like, help more people for that trust, that, that trust, that quest to trigger. And it, do you, does the game really just want me to do fetch quests until he's ready? I mean, that sounds horrible. Where's the ferryman? There's the ferryman. I don't know why I got that excited. I'm just so used to people not being there when I want them to be there. Take me to the other side. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, you have to go through like six steps to get to the other side. And I love I love the game's aware of itself. How many times are you going to ask me that? To the swamp! You're going to ask me that. Wow, there's like I was gonna make that talking heads reference of take me to the river and i don't think that i think that was a cover song actually anyway i think it's on stop making sense and that's a great song but 
Swamp, the other Talking Heads song that made me think of the Talking Heads in that dialogue, is another great song. And Andy, if you're watching, Swamp is a great song. It is. There you go. There's a shout out for Andy. Andy, are you watching? No? Okay. Thanks, man. I just looked over my screen. Is my video choppy? I don't know. The things you worry about when there's nothing to do in the game. You know, there probably is a lot to do in the game. Actually, I know there's a lot because some people have told me that you're missing different things. Uh, specifically, Zack the Winter Warlock. Um, I was going to go into that uh, freaking uh, for the fall trailer we have. I'm like, Zack the Winter Warlock on to, was it Mondays and I don't know, Tuesday? Oh, Sundays and Thursdays, I think is what that one says. I mean, I'm just one guy. Nobody can consistently put out two shows a week, every week. Unless you're Zack the Winter Warlock, who releases a second episode of The Adventures of Jacoby on Thursdays. Jean-Pierre needs wolf pelts. Man. You know what I, you know what I just realized, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know where to find these plants. Uh, Drowners, let's go. You have a name. A traveler from distant lands. He has lost something he now seeks. What shall I call you? Vaska, the village Eldress. Geralt, Witcher. Cool. What do the villagers do? We mine clay and produce bricks. I see none working. Hard times. Speak. Should we do another quest? We solve problems. <laughs> Want to ask something? Uh, I don't know. Uh, ooh, Berengar quest. <gasps> okay, there's a couple things that are actually interesting here. First off, Berengar. He's very cool. Or Berengar. That quest yes. seems very cool. Asking different questions about those alchemies. The alchemist Kolkstein must have sent him. Then we happened upon his gear in a clay pit, covered in blood. Thanks. Did we know that? Kalkstein sent Berengar to the swamp? Signs of fighting there and not with monsters. He was attacked by men. Beware of men. flaming lizards and dry The greatest monsters of all. Flaming lizards and dry what? <laughs> I need you alive, boy. All right, Kalkstein. Kalkstein, an alchemist. Kalkstein, Kalkstein. Kalkstein. Hey, man, whatever. And the guard. A powerful sorcerer once lived in the swamp, an apprentice his only companion. All changed when a woman entered his life. A fairy tale beginning. Mm. The end differs. For a wicked woman she was. He fulfilled all her wishes and she took advantage of his might. Who was she? Unimportant. How could she? I'm listening. Unimportant. <laughs> Blind love spelled the mage's demise. He called upon forces he could not control and died. What about the guard? The mage's lover could tell fortunes, and the mage created a deck of extraordinary tarot cards. A deck of extraordinary things. On each card. And? Whoa! What the heck was that? Those spared the ravages of time survive at the cemetery, where they remain motionless. One of them is... She's dropping some cool lore here. The powerful golem acted as sentry. The tower card depicts how the golem can be revived. In turn, this will open the tower anew. Take this card. I no longer need it. We could use more. Oh, dude. This dude walked in the shot like three times. Okay. So. Yeah. Does anybody want to go collect plants? No? Okay. <laughs> Who wants to go check out this whole thing about Gollum sentries? Yeah. Literally every... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Ooh, is this a shortcut? The, the road less traveled, perhaps? Actually, yeah, we're... Sweet. We found a little shortcut. Anyway. Man, last time, though, Kalkstein... Got mad at us. Sean Pierre and these wolf pelts. Uh, fisherman, where's the ferryman? No, no. Oh, there he is. He's fishing. <laughs> wait, th wait. The fisherman was by the ferry, and the ferryman is fishing. Good sir. 
Do you need to? Dude, this guy just like kill somebody? What is this? Ectoplasm, probably? Some acid. Awesome. That was another thing last time. We bought a bunch of alchemy things from Calcstein because we didn't have any. But yeah, speaking of Calcstein and speaking of last time, time is money. This whole episode has just be, been me recounting last time. But anyway, um, ready to go? Calcstein got really mad at us because we accused him of being in ties with the Salamandra. Take me to town. And he didn't talk to us, or he stopped talking to us. He's like, you've greatly offended me, Witcher, or something like that. So, will he talk to me this time? Stay tuned. All right, we're back in Vizima. And in my head, I had done a really cool transition between now and then, or whenever. Um, if I didn't do that, I'm greatly sorry. No, of course, I, I've done it. If, you know what, if I didn't do it, dislike this video. If I did do it, like this video and subscribe to the Storm Gaming Alliance channel. This solution. Hmm. Get lost and don't return. Calcstein. I'm deeply offended by your words. <laughs> Good luck, dick. <laughs> anyway, speaking of liking and subscribing to the Storm Gaming Alliance channel, I got to thank you guys. Uh, yeah, I've noticed a, kind of a bump in subscribers lately. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know how much... And wait for a storm. Wait. This, oh, dude, this game just got really cool again. Well, Calcine, will you talk to me? Will you? Can I apologize to you? Get lost and don't return. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, never mind. You know what? I was going to say, like, I'm just going to rob your house, but I'm a better guy than that. Right? Right? Come on, man. All right. So, so what are we doing now? Are you a craftsman? Beware if you intend to stay. We gotta find a craftsman. Hey, are you a craftsman? I'm getting out of here. I would do all I could to destroy this. Dude, don't be saying stuff like that. <laughs> it's not okay. All right. So we have to make a lightning rod. I must find a craftsman who will make a lightning rod for me. Okay, to wake up the golem, I have to arrange a lightning storm and get a lightning rod. Piece of cake. First, I should find a craftsman. Storm, storm gaming lines. <laughs> storm without the lightning rod is a little, is of little use to me anyway. All right, everybody. I know at least a few people have watched this entire playthrough. Have we talked to a craftsman before? Craftsman. You know what? This is a great time to use our resources. Um, unlike, you know, just bumbling around the city. You know what? We can find a craftsman. Baron Guard. Um, he's not a craftsman. Carmen is not a craftsman. Sir, you are not a craftsman. Eskel isn't... Who's this? Oh, Vivaldi. I didn't know your first name. Hagen Bro. No, that's that guy. Jethro is definitely not. Kalkstein is not a craftsman. Lambert, Leo. Mickle? Who's Mickle? Oh, that guy. Oh, dude. Man, there's so many people I don't remember. No, not him. Ramsmeat. Raymond? Let's see if... I wonder if I can talk to him yet. Hey, the Reverend from... Oh, way back when. Siegfried is awesome, but he is not uh, a craftsman. Siegfried's a guy who's just, he's a nice guy who's uh, caught up with some bad dudes. Anyway, Thaler is also a really cool dude, but not a craftsman. Um, what's with Trish's dress there? <laughs> that pose. Come on, Trish. You're better than that. Anyway, Veska is not a craftsman. Neither is the... Oh, man. 
Oh, yeah. I remember that guy. That's the guy we couldn't find in the druid freaking swamp. That sucked. Oh, Zoltan. I'm sure you're not a craftsman. Wow. This sucks. <laughs> okay. Think. Think. Where can I find a craftsman? Look at the map. Use your brain. Brain. You know, we could go to the village trader. Wait. Why does it want me to go to the dike? Okay. Play your games. You know what? No. It probably is pointing towards the dike and the swamp. Wait, what? Do I not have... Why does this have a red dot? Because I'm tracking... Oh, friend, oh, it wanted us to go to the swamp because of the uh, uh, Shawnee quest. All right, where will I find it? Listen, people, I am the greatest Witcher 1 player of all time. <laughs> Who knew if you put a, uh, a select a tracking... A <sighs> I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed with jubilee and, and joy. Um, yeah, who knew if you were to track a quest on the map, a quest marker would appear. Uh, and I'm probably going the wrong way. <laughs> like that, that, that like snapshot of there, <laughs> me just like shoving that dude out of the way. Um, it reminds me of the recap video where I'm like, we shove some dork out of the way. Time is of the essence. So we shove some dork out of the way and go talk to the Reverend. Oh, now I'm lost. Oh, it's, it's right up there. There we go. All right. You, sir. Are you the one Siegfried spoke of? Siegfried! Siegfried, the knight from the sewers. It is you. That cockatrice troubled us for ages. Dude, Siegfried continues to be amazing. It fell quickly. What's your business? Um, lightning rod! Yes, first lightning rod, then we'll see what he has on offer. Long metal. Um, should have said. But no, I'm a swordsmith. And wait, devote I'll stop. I'll stop talking. What if I give you a donation to the order? Say seventy orans. Oh man. Well, come back. Notifications. Here. Can't start just now. We. Come back later. That's Do I not? Because I, I spent all my money on Calstein. Wait, did I? Did I? Come back later. Did I already do it? Okay. Did I? Did, did I give him the money already? I must bring 70 orns. Do I not have orns? What? Boy. Okay. Getting frazzled here. Are these not orns? Are they like crowns? Are they Temerian crowns? No, I th I'm pretty sure it's orns. Why can't... What? Greetings, uh, can sir. Let's you just you like mad dog the screen. Like. I sweep up. Can I? The furnaces. Run the shop. Can I have a look? As you wish. Uh, yeah, what do you got, dude? Hmm. Saw Peter Flint. Anything exciting here? No bear fat. Goose fat? Wasn't there bear fat? There bear fat. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, listen here. Ooh, blue meteorite. Sweet. But yeah, look how much you can buy it for. Excellent leather. For five thousand, what do we have? Studded leather. <laughs> Damage received negative five percent compared to. Wow, that's amazing. Cool. Um, I don't have five thousand orns, but I do. Oh my gosh, I have seventy orns. You know what? We will come back later. I was trying to think of how to phrase that. We will come back later. What is this? this? This is the worst gang of people I've ever seen. Anyway, we will come back later. In fact, we'll come back in the next episode. Look at that guy hobbling down here. Look at that. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, that will do it for this episode of Witcher Wednesdays, where we play through The Witcher 1. If I didn't describe that already, I'm sure you probably found that out, that we play The Witcher 1 on Witcher Wednesdays. Until we finish it, then we go on to Witcher 2. 
Yes, no. Bargain, that's rubbish. <laughs> I lost my train of thought so bad there. <laughs> Whatever, man. Thanks so much for watching. I feel like we got a good bit accomplished. We're back on the rails. We got a new path we're going down. Pretty stoked for it. I'm looking forward to next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Like I said before, I really appreciate you subscribing to the Storm Gaming Alliance. Um, yeah, it just had a quite a few subs come in and man that is awesome to see and i appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos um say for some reason you only come to this channel just to see my face it may surprise you that there's more people on this channel than just me why don't you check out zach the winter warlock who i'm pretty sure i mentioned like six times already he does a skyrim playthrough right now he's doing a jacobi's library if you don't know what that is he reads the books in skyrim that's not the best way to describe it, but it's it's an offshoot of The Adventures of Jack B. Check it out. It's on the channel. We have Mechanical Rain, a sci-fi dystopian RPG, tabletop RPG, um, with a whole bunch of people on it. And, oh man, there's more stuff coming up for the future, but I cannot talk about it. Why? Because I don't want to jinx ourselves. Anyway, there's a nice long rambling outro for you. I was about to make it even longer, but I won't. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, keep on witchering.